Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you just saw, I kind of inserted a clip of me doing a little battle scene and in the full Wonder Woman costume so you guys could see what it looks like on me from head to toe. Next, I'm just showing you guys how I'm applying the wig. I just kind of put my hair in a ponytail. Usually having a wig cut will make it a lot easier, but I didn't have one on me at the moment. So I just tucked all of the pieces of my hair into the actual wig to make sure nothing was sticking out. And then I just took a clip to get it out of the way since I'm going to be applying a full face of makeup. First, I'm just going in and correcting any of the redness that I have on my skin, any blemishes that are peeking through with any redness. If you guys follow my channel, you know that I do suffer from bad dark circles, so I have red and purple dark circles, therefore I need to apply a green corrector under the eyes as well as the other areas of my skin. Now we're going to go in with my concealer. This one is closest to my shade, which is going to be a medium type of tone to get rid of any type of blemishes that are a little bit on the darker side. So if I have anything peeking through, such as like a blemish from a pimple or anything like that, I'm going to blend that out. And I'm not placing it under my eye area just yet since I am going to do a full on like highlight conceal. So I'm going to wait for that part for then. Now we're going in with foundation. I'm going to be mixing two foundations for this just to be, make a better shade match for myself for Wonder Woman. I'm taking the NARS Sheer Glow, which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I'm applying that in all the areas that I would actually highlight. And then the Milani one, I'm going to place it in the areas that I would contour, and then of course blending them all out. And just to give you guys an idea, I did about one pump of the Milani and then one of the NARS. The NARS doesn't have an actual pump on it, but just gauging the amount that I put was pretty much the same for both of them. They're about a pretty medium to high coverage foundation, both of them. So just applying them and blending them all in together, feel, I feel like it gives me the perfect match. And of course, producing a very high coverage, which is what we want. Totally flawless and clear skin for Wonder Woman. You will also be seeing that I just kind of flash the products into the screen just a little bit for you guys to get an idea of what I'm using, but I will always have everything linked down in the description bar, so if you need any particular details of the exact product, if you're looking to get it for yourself, it will be down there. Now I'm taking my concealer and I'm actually going to be taking two different shades. Just as I did with my foundation, I'm using something closer to my skin tone and then one that's a bit lighter. Like I said, I'm going to be giving some highlight to the face, so that is re the reason I'm going with something a little bit lighter. The one that's closest to my skin I'm using for under my eyes for concealing, then adding the lightness. And then the lighter concealer I am actually going to be applying down the bridge of my nose, the forehead, my chin, and of course underneath the cheekbones to highlight them a bit more. This is going to add brightness and of course doing the highlight effect that I'm looking for. I first like to blend underneath my eyes with a small domed brush just because this found this concealer actually does dry down pretty quickly. So the areas that I applied it first, that is where I'm going to go in and blending it first. As you can see, I'm also applying it on the lids of my eyes. This has just been my go-to lately for a primer. I don't use a specific thing that is made or named primer. I just go in with this concealer because it is so high coverage that it literally covers all of the veins and darkness that I have on that area this way I don't need to go in with a separate primer when it comes time to apply the eyeshadows For my bronzer, surprise, surprise, I'm going back in with my Makeup Forever bronzer and I'm taking a large duo fiber brush. I'm just going to add a little bit more into the hollows of my cheeks and bring a little bit more color back into it. Because I did such high coverage on this and concealing and making everything so flawless, it does tend to dull out the skin, so you do want to make sure you add more life and color back into it. I'm taking that same bronzer and just a more defined brush. As you can see, this is going to carve out the cheekbones a little bit more. Of course, down the bridge of the nose to slenderize it just a bit because we always know that Wonder Woman, Diana, has a very snatched nose. So we want to do the same. Now for this blush, I'm going with NARS Deep Throat. This is like a raspberry type of pink shade. I thought it went really well since the outfit does have like burgundy in it, just it correlated well and blended nicely. Wonder Woman doesn't go for anything extensive in her makeup, so I just really wanted to create a beautiful clear canvas since she is known to be a natural beauty and look absolutely perfect, have perfect skin. So that's really what I spent a lot of my time on. And then I'm just applying a little bit of highlight because I do want to add a little glow and dewiness that of course is going to make your face look more youthful. 
now for my brows i'm going to be using my brow definer by l'oreal i have literally been obsessing over this i can't put it down it is what i use every single day i am in the process of growing out my eyebrows so as you guys could see here i'm just filling them in as i normally would but they are going to have lots of hairs on them. They're a bit thicker than they normally are because I am trying to grow them out a lot thicker than I'm used to. I just want to go for something that looks a little more natural versus having such a thin brow is what I used to have. Now the more thicker brow is, of course, in trend. I'm just going to brush them out after I do all of that so it'll look a little more natural. And then what you guys are going to see, a little tip for you, if you're looking to grow your brows out, I feel like it's so hard leaving them bushy, but fill them in as you normally would on the desired look that you have, and then only pluck the hairs that are left. This way you can let the hairs grow and you're not plucking too much or too little bit. Now we're going to go in with eyeshadow. I'm taking my Naked Basics palette. Like I said, this is a very basic look. We're not going for anything crazy. So I'm just taking a very neutral shade and blending it all over the entire eye area. Now I'm just going to be taking a transition shade and blend it and then decrease as I do with any look, no matter how simple or how dramatic it is. You guys know I always go in with a transition color. So I'm just going to be buffing that into the crease and bringing it up towards the brow bone, but still keeping the lower part of the brow highlighted. Then finally, I'm going in with this slightly deeper brown shade, and that's just kind of going to give the eye a little more definition and I'm just taking a smaller blending brush and placing that only in the outer V of the eye and once again I'm not going too crazy with this because I don't want to smoke it up I just want it to basically contour the eye in a very natural way this way it doesn't even look like I'm really wearing any type of eyeshadow Going back in with that transition shade that I applied on the crease of my eye, I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and just placing that on the lower lash line. This is, you're barely even going to be able to tell I'm wearing any eyeshadow, but believe it or not, it really does help with focusing more on the eyes. And then I'm going to be applying a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. I do have eyelash extensions right now, so those of you that have had it know that you cannot apply any type of mascara, so I'm only doing the lower lash line. Now for liner, I literally just kind of wanted to focus on the waterline. I'm doing the tiniest, tiniest black line with my liquid liner. Just once again, to give it just a little more definition, make the lashes pop just a little bit more, but not to really look like I have a full eyeliner on my eyes. For my lips, I'm taking a NYX lip cream. This is something that I use pretty much on a daily basis. It's nice and moisturizing. And the color that I selected is just very natural, like I said, for an everyday wear. So this now completes my Wonder Woman look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed to my channel. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.